one headmaster, this is down in London, has chosen to ban pupils from using those titles. The pronoun police are back. James Hanscom, executive principal of Harris Westminster Sixth Form and Harris Clapham Sixth Form, calls it cultural misogyny. He told pupils, we're changing the way that students refer to staff. No longer will it be acceptable to call us sir or miss. We would prefer you just call us by our names. All right, Barry. Really? What was Mr Charnley's name? I can't remember. Miss Hardwick was Sue Hardwick. I remember that. Sue Hardwick. Um, <laughs> uh, we also... Can you, you remember when you used to discover a teacher's name, how funny that was? Can you imagine what a group of 14-year-old boys felt when they discovered that Miss Sykes, our chemistry teacher, Miss Sykes' first name was Ramsey. Now, that was a moment that I didn't get over for about three days. I think I remember waking up about half two in the morning just giggling. Ramsey Sykes. Wow. Uh, so they want kids to call teachers by their... This is just a nonsense. We were talking yesterday about a dis lack of discipline in classrooms and teachers leaving the profession because they are struggling with, uh, you know, kids and rebellious kids and kids causing trouble. And I think this just feeds into that. The minute you, you're... What you're doing is kind of crossing a line here. Finding out your teacher's name was only up there. Do you remember going into town at the weekend and every now and again you'd see a teacher in town wearing jeans? That was always weird as well, wasn't it? Wow, look, Mr Charlie's got jeans. He's wearing Levi's and he's in Tesco. What's he doing? All right, Baz, you wouldn't do it. You couldn't do that. Uh, so he thinks it's cultural misogyny because... And part of the reasoning or his thinking behind this, this, this head teacher, is that... Uh, the term sir is quite authoritative. It sort of uh, conjures up a, 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 a position of power uh, where the term miss sort of invokes the image of a woman with long grey hair in her early 40s who owns too many cats or something like that. But it, it, it's a, almost a subservient term. Miss, it's very dainty, very girly. Ah, oh, miss. Yes, miss. Good day, miss. How are you, miss? Uh, there's something not quite equal about the titles Sir and Miss. I don't think any kid ever made that connection. I don't think many kids ever thought of it in that kind of way. And when I think back at school and the teachers that were strict but respected, I would say it was probably disproportionately female teachers that, who we called Miss. I mean, Miss Turtle. Yes, we had a teacher called Miss Turtle. Isn't that nice? Uh, Mr. Valerie Turtle. There you go. Funny how you remember this stuff. When old Val used to really let go in the classroom, she was a woman of very few words. She liked to get you to copy from worksheets quite a lot. Would you like to copy this? Oh, not the Tudors again. She was a history teacher. Um, <laughs> you'd have to copy these endless worksheets. But when she let go, when Miss Turtle went for it, I'm telling you, that word Miss had no subservience about it. There was nothing meek about Miss turtle there was nothing dainty about miss turtle she could get she was like a flipping foghorn when she went miss miller when she went what was her name she was the french teacher miss miller was older than god's teeth okay and more troubling than anyone i could ever I imagine as a teacher she was an amazing woman but she, was, she used to get very, very upset. And when she got upset, for some reason, she used to open all the windows in the classroom. You know, teachers do weird things. She'd just go round, I will, I will not have this in my classroom. And she'd start opening the windows all over the way. Then she'd put tables onto desks, uh, chairs onto desks, as if it was the end of the day. What was that all about? Oh, so they could sweep up, I guess. Uh, again, Miss Miller. Nobody, argued, nobody thought that was a subservient name because she was called Miss uh, so this is crazy thinking from the teacher and now wants pupils to use their names. So I'm assuming he means their first names. I mean, that is just all shades of mad, right? That is all shades of mad. If, you, if he's really suggesting... Because if you're going to call teachers by their surnames, but Mr or Miss or Mrs, then you end up surely back in a similar place because you're still using the term Miss. Because that seems to be the one area that the pronoun police 
over there at Harris Westminster sixth form and Harris Clapham sixth form seems to be that area that he has the problem with. 